Hi everybody, my name is Patrick Pittman. I am a first grade teacher in Virginia Beach. Um, some of you know my website is Pittman's Pumpkin Patch and I'm not sure if I'm going to continue that name this year because not only I'm not just going to only grow pumpkins this year but I'm going to grow a lot of other things and here it is uh, March the 2nd 2013 and I got a lot of products and a lot of things I want to share with you and a lot of people I want to thank for turning me on to different products that's going to make my gardening a lot more successful first let me show you that I still have my compost in the yard here everything's been raining quite a bit so I haven't had a chance to really get to things uh, I already got some put into the backyard and everything but this is still some of the compost that I got out here that I got to work with okay you gotta get really good quality compost try to minimize the amount of sticks and twigs and things in there as possible okay um, but I want to give a shout out to uh, a couple people First, I want to give a shout out to John Kohler, who is out in California, and he has a YouTube channel called GrowingYourGreens.com. That's the actual name of the uh, YouTube channel. And if you go to his YouTube channel, you will learn so much. So thank you, John, if you're watching. Thank you so much for all the great videos and the informative uh information about gardening and your soil biologics and so forth it's just simply amazing and I can't thank you enough keep up the good work um, and another company or persons I want to thank is the boogie brew company they're also out in California uh, if you just do uh, boogie brew I think it's dot com do a you know, Google search for that you will find them and they have amazing products and I want to talk about some of those products here and talk about some of the things that I'm going to be doing. So, starting with some of the with the Boogie Brew uh, products that I've got. On the left here, right here, is uh, a product called C90, SEA-90. It's a sea-based uh, mineralized um, product where you put some of this into your, uh, you just follow directions on it, but you add this into your soil or spray it into your soil I should say it is going to revitalize your soil it's going to put all the minerals and the trace minerals back into your soil that is so missing from our gardens even if you're doing raised beds which I'm going to be doing this year or growing in smart pots like I'm going to be doing this year you still need to add these trace minerals and and so forth so C90 is one product that offers that and that's from Boogie Brew as well um, in the middle there right here you have the uh, Boogie Roo uh, compost tea mixture. It has all the necessary things in there already prepackaged, ready to go to make your compost tea. And I'll show you my compost tea that's been uh, going on for about 14 hours now. I'll show you that in a little bit. But this is an absolute, I think, a must. It's your everything's you know organic this year. I'm not going to be using pesticides and chemicals. I'm I'm avoiding the Miracle Grow because they use chemicals you know and different uh, oil based petroleum products and things like that in there so I'm avoiding all of that stuff going all organic as much as possible anyways probably 99.9% <laughs> uh, so compost tea a natural fertilizer puts in your soil biologics so important I've never really thought much about soil biology before all the different healthy and good fungi and bacteria and nematodes and all kinds of things in there and this stuff is going to help get a lot of that in there for you and make your plants healthy and strong and good to go so boogiebrew.com definitely check them out uh, over here on the right this is their this is a sample package of their worm castings and it has a high chitinase uh, content to it I'm not, I don't remember all the importance of the chitinase, but it, it's very good for your plants. It's, a, I think, it's a bug deterrent. It, the, you know, your plants soak up, you know, the nutrients and the, and the chitinase that's in these worm castings. And when bugs try to go bite on your plants and things, this chitinase kind of puts, I guess, maybe a bad taste in their mouth and makes it undesirable for them to want to come back and keep biting on your plants. So it's kind of a natural deterrent. So I'm going to be trying that out and everything. Uh, so also from boogiebrew.com uh, this right here 
Oh my gosh, you have to get this. This is the Boogie. It's from the Boogie Brew Company out in California, but the product is called the Boogie Blue Water Filter. And this, it's only, it was about maybe $50 or something like that. I think they even got it on sale now for like $39 shipped to your door. If you go to the website and put in the promo code GYG, that stands for Growing Your Greens. That's from John Kohler's website. Amazing, young, amazing man. Thank you, John, again. And this product right here, this filter, will filter 30, about 35,000 gallons of water before you need to get it replaced. Okay? And that's it's higher than any product I've seen out there. And this takes out the chlorine and, and the chloramine out of your uh, tap water. Now, if you're on a well water system, you won't need one of these things. You might need something else, but not this. If you're on city water like I am, you're going to want to get the Boogie Blue water filter. It's an inline water filter. Very simple to hook up your hose to one end and your drip system or something to the other end. And bam, you have filtered water. Now, why is that even important? Why do we care about filtered water? And again, I have to thank John and Boogie Brew for educating me so much on this. You're putting in soil, bio soil biologics. Uh, my Lord, help me. <laughs> soil biology into your, into your um, growing medium from the boogie uh, compost tea and other sources you know your nematodes your uh, fungi your bacteria and all those healthy things are uh, in there that are going to make your soil great if you put in regular tap water you are going to kill most if not all of the healthy fungi and bacteria that's in that soil that's going to make your you're going to kill them all so you don't want to be putting tap water into your garden especially when you put the soil uh, biology in there you want to have that life in there and staying alive and healthy. So you need to filter your water before it goes into your irrigation system or however you're going to water. Even if you're doing it by a watering can, you want to filter the water. I can't stress that enough. It is going to save your biology and keep them healthy. Because, I mean, the, the, the municipal places put the chlorine in the water to kill all the bad bacteria. Well, it also kills the good bacteria, too. Okay, so we may want to, you know, you may have that going into your house and all that stuff like that, but you don't want that going into your garden for sure because it's going to kill the healthy biologics in your soil as well, and you don't want that. So Boogie Blue water filter from the Boogie Brew Company based out in California. And this burlap sack here, this burlap bag here, is where you put your compost tea ingredients in there and other ingredients that you may want to put in there. You may want to put in more worm castings. You may want to put in some uh, C90 um, uh, minerals and, and trace minerals and other things you may want to add to it to give it an extra boost. Okay, so boogiebrew.com. Also go to YouTube and look up growing, all one word, growingyourgreens.com. And John Kohler, based out in California, fabulous thank you um, now on to some of the other products that I'm also using this year to help my garden and uh, down here on the left right here we have accelerite accelerite is one version of a minerals and trace minerals supplement that you put into your soil just read the directions on all these things and tell you exactly what to do this has the whole periodic table of elements down down here and it revitalizes your soil again it's the same it's like the c90 c90 is a one product that will do it the accelerite is another and i'm going to talk about a third in just a moment and all of these i'm putting in there together to help get all the different minerals and trace minerals boosted up and, and put into my uh, growing medium so that your plants will be healthy and be able to and the biologics will feed on this too to keep them healthy and going which in turn will get your plants growing great and stay more disease resistant so again if you're growing in the ground instead of in raised beds or in smart pots or whatever i mean your ground is void of the minerals and the trace minerals yeah you go to your stores and everything your miracle grows and whatnot and you put in the npks from them the the uh, nitrogen and the potassium and the phosphates and all that yeah but that's only three elements and they may have a little bit of uh copper and magnesium things like that but it's it's so minuscule you put in this stuff here and other in the c90 and the other product i'm going to talk about in just a minute and your soil is going to be much more healthier and much better it's got a broad spectrum of 
the minerals and trace minerals, not just three or four. This has about at least a 90 to 100 minerals and trace minerals in there. And so does the C90, okay? That's a C-based mineral. Now, let me show you this other product here. It's called Azomite. And again, John Kohler turned me on to this. A-Z-O-M-I-T-E, Azomite. It's hard to find sometimes. I had to order it from a store here in Virginia because locally they didn't have it. But um, this is a 44-pound bag of rock dust, basically, same as the accelerite and, the, and things like that. These are minerals and trace mineral supplements that you put into your soil. Again, the same thing, it does the same thing the accelerite does, but it has, you know, different amounts than the accelerite or whatnot. So you want to kind of vary your sources so that you can make sure that you're covering the spectrum of minerals and trace minerals to make your soil healthy and thus your plants as well. Okay, so that's azomite, A-Z-O-M-I-T-E. Okay, um, and I'm kind of basically following Mel Bartholomew, who's the author and inventor of the square foot gardening method. I'm not following it exactly to T, to T but I am um, going to use the same ingredients and things that he, he uses. Okay, and right there in this big bag here, you see I have some vermiculite that I'm going to be using. Okay. And uh, a lot of stuff I had to order online to get this, uh, get these big bags and everything at a good price. Um, so vermiculite is going to be mixed in with my compost over here. That's going to be also mixed in with worm castings and things like that. And all the rock dusts and, you know, things like that. It's all going to be added together. And the peat moss or cocoa peat, all going to be added together. Okay. And the vermiculite acts sort of like a sponge. It soaks, wa soaks up the water and helps to hold it for a little while and slowly releases it back into your soil. And it also creates air pockets, which, you know, you need for, uh, have oxygen moving around through your root systems to keep them healthy. Okay. So that's definitely a, a good ingredient to have. The earthworm castings right here. Okay. All organic fertilizer, earthworm castings. Okay, OMRI, O-M-R-I, you want to look for that label on your stuff to make sure it's certified organics, okay? And if you don't find, see the OMRI, O-M-R-I listing on there that you see there, you want to make sure that it's at least suited for organics. Okay, this is worm castings, and uh, let's see, this is uh, earthworm castings, organic fertilizer, and this, I'm trying to... So you see, get a close-up of it right there, and there you go. And this, this is going to help uh, keep the plants healthy. Everything I have out here is all for the plants in the soil. you got to start with good soil. If you don't have good soil, you're not going to have good plants, no matter how expensive or how you know, fancy your seeds may be and where they came from. you got to have great soil to start with. Okay, Earthworm castings is a big part of that, too. Right here... I forgot to mention this. I should have included that when I was doing the boogie brew uh, part. This is California humus, okay? California humus. And um, this is a product I got from the boogie brew company also online. And this is basically wood chips that have been specially processed or broken down gradually over many many years to create basically I guess you can call it black gold <laughs> and uh, it's a super additive to add to your soils biologics will feed on it it'll make your plants so much healthier and uh, definitely a must-have it's expensive it's, it's pretty pricey um, but you know a little bit will do you a little bit will do you Okay, let me move on to some of the other things here. I have, uh, now this is just an, uh, I'm growing blueberries and strawberries in the backyard. And uh, this is an acidic mix uh, soil thing. It's a 436 mixture. It's specially made for blueberries and strawberries. And it also work with azaleas and rhododendrons and things like that that love acidic soil. Okay. It's all natural. Uh, fertilizer I'm, doing, I'm going to be using for just those acidic loving plants like my blueberries and strawberries okay over here I have the uh, peat moss which I'm going to be mixing with the vermiculite and the compost helps keep the soil healthy and keep it aerated and uh, helps with drainage okay 
Uh, you could also use cocoa peat or cocoa core as a, as a uh, as another way instead of using the peat moss. Um, so that's also going to be added in there. And this right here, this little device right here, this is my um, Blue Labs pH soil probe. You direct, you put it directly into the soil, turn it on, and it starts reading what your pH soil is. So you don't have to sit there and make a slurry or all this other mixed soil with water and weight for all this other stuff. You can put this probe straight in the ground and get a fairly accurate reading uh, pretty uh, pretty quick. All right, so that's definitely a must tool to have to make sure that your pH is right for your blueberries and strawberries as well as your other plants. Got to know what your soil pH is, okay? Very important. Blue Labs um, soil pH pen, okay? And here is one of my fabric pots that I ordered. This is a Smart Pot 20 gallon uh, um, fabric pot, okay? I have bigger sizes and they make much bigger sizes and smaller sizes as well. So this is just my, one of mine as a 20 gallon. I have 30 gallons and I have some big bad beds in the back I'll show you in a little while, okay, that I'm going to be doing. And uh, there are a lot of different brands of fabric pots out there, but I went with the Smart Pots. These are um, self-aerating, of course, and because they're black, they're going to heat up the soil, uh, warm it up faster so that you can get uh, better germination uh, rates. Uh, and also when it gets extremely hot in the summertime, it also will be so, it's self aerating so it'll help keep your roots cool too. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, do, doing any damage to your, to your plants. Uh, it's self draining and one of the cool things about it is that it also, um, it air prunes your root system. And what does that mean? Well, when your roots are growing, you know, like if you have a plastic, um, nursery pot that you get from your, any, from your nursery stores and things like that. You know, you know what happens if you leave them in there too long. The roots hit the side and they start going around and around the whole root system, around the plant. And you get root ball, which is not uh, good for your plants. What this does is when the roots hit the side of the fabric pot, the, it kind of sticks into the fabric pot. And, uh, and then it may grow through a little bit, but when the air hits it, it's signaling that plants stop growing. You, you, this is air. This is not any more soil. And what it does is it forces the uh, the roots to grow, if you will, side roots off of the roots that are already growing. It causes them to grow more roots back into the soil and everything. So you get a healthier root ball. You get a healthier plant. It won't wrap around and, and, and do any of that bad stuff we don't want. So a lot of good stuff this year. And I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. Let me show you the uh, compost tea that I got brewing. Excuse the mess in here. Uh, when you have five kids and everything like that, you got a lot of laundry to do. <laughs> okay, so I put the Boogie Roo compost tea in a five-gallon bucket right here. Okay, and you see the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you see the air pump right there. Now, if you go to BoogieBrew.com, they have a kit that you can buy that has all the stuff, a higher high-quality uh, air pump. Um, I didn't get that. I went to my local Walmart and picked up a air pump that'll do about 30 to 60 gallons and everything. A couple air stones, you know, you want two to three air stones, and uh, you know, you pick up some tubing and everything. Very easy to do. I already have a burlap bag. It's clamped on down here. The burlap bag's inside with the compost tea from Boogie Brew. I added some um, some uh, accelerite in there and. Uh, Things like that. So to, to give it a little bit extra, a little bit extra, I put some California humus in there. So that's all growing. So I'll show you. You got all the bubbling action going on here. So there's a stone inside the bag. Okay. That's important to do. Put a stone inside the bag with your ingredients. The burlap bag. Attach everything. I got another stone down in here. And all this bubble. This has been brewing for about 14 to 16 hours. And all this bubbling action that you see going on top. It's all the microbiology going on inside. They're giving off their gases. They're breathing. They're producing gases and things. And that's why you see all this foaming and bubbling on top. And that's a good thing you want to see. That means that your soil, that your tea is alive with healthy biologics in here. Okay. So I'm going to keep letting this brew. Now again, this is filtered water. You must use, can't stress it enough, you must use filtered water 
when you are making your compost tea. I was saying the boogie blue filter was used to filter the water to put in here okay and then I put in all the stuff in here and got it going must use filtered water because the boogie brew compost tea uh, mix has all the biologics all the stuff you need in there if you put it in a regular tap water you are going to kill your biology the biology in there and then you defeated the whole purpose for making your healthy soil you just killed the healthy uh, biology in there so you have to use filtered water and the boogie blue filter is the best that I've seen will uh, filter the most amount of gallons of water and uh, so they are an excellent excellent company and uh, been very helpful to me so this is going to continue to do its thing and then when I am uh, done uh, getting some of my blueberry plants transplanted into the uh, fabric pots out there, the um, smart pots. I'm going to be adding all this compost tea to get everything healthy and get it all going. And one other thing I think I forgot to mention, mycorrhizae. The Boogie Brew Tea does have mycorrhizae in it. I also have uh, another brand of mycorrhizae in a powder form that I'm going to be sprinkling on to my root systems when I transplant. Mycorrhizae is another important uh, thing to do with your garden with your plants and I forgot to bring it out <laughs> it's my brand I use is um, white widow mycorrhizae it has the most uh, endocrine uh, not endocrine I can't remember the name of it but there's two different kinds of mycorrhizae ecto and endo as the first parts of those words uh, and I ecto I think is more for your trees and things like that and, and grasses where endo mycorrhizae is for your you know, your vegetables and your flowers and things of that nature. So, I definitely went with the brand that had the most endo, and that was White Widow uh, brand. So, you just sprinkle some of that on. I'll show videos all about that later, okay? So, more to come. I'm going to be growing, as I said, strawberries, blueberries. I got blackberry bushes on the way, or blackberry plants on the way. Um, I'm going, I got some broccoli cabbage spinach growing in little um, seed starters uh, inside the house I got some basil growing in the house um, now I'm gonna be transplanting all that stuff outside when it's time I got a grow light uh, that's coming and that's going to be helpful to my seed starting inside um, so I mean I'm going to be really expanding my uh, patch this year in the past all I was growing was pumpkins and a little bit of tomatoes a little bit of peppers I'm still growing to go grow tomatoes and peppers. I'm going to be growing squash, zucchinis, and like I said, spinach, broccoli, cabbage. I'm going to be growing the pumpkins just like I always do, but I'm going to be using...